Shalom. Ma shalom chem. We're in Hosea 4, verse 14. So remember the last time um, he was accusing of the benot and the kalot that they were whoring around, right? But now he says, lo f code. I will not visit. visit. Okay, I am not going to visit the daughters because they are tiznena. They're no, not harlot. Uh, no, because they are. I'm not going to visit them because they're harloting. And also not the kalot, the brides, because they are naaf. They are adultering. But hem. Now, what gender is hem? Male. 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 They. Okay. So there's a switch in gender. Uh, it's about the men, okay? The women are not doing right, but he's not going to come punish the women because of what they're doing. He's coming after the men. Why ki imzonot, with whores, with prostitutes, ye faredu. So this is parad. We have three roots that are very similar, and they're all, well, we already did this one. Do you remember the parash? Parsha. Yeah, Section. dividing, Section. right? It has to do with dividing, and um, it's a pay, the the Purushim. Who are the Purushim? The Pharisees, and why are they divided? They're separatists. They divided themselves. We're going to Bereshit Bet Pasuk Eser. What is the Nahar River Yotze? It's going out Me'eden Lehashkot to water to give a drink to the Gan. Umisham, what happens to it? Do you know? Arba Roshim. It separates. It when separates. We, when we were looking at this perush before, we looked at it at the horse's legs, right? That the horse's legs were separating as they were running, or they were in there separating the cavalry from each other. Okay, Breshit Kafe, Hasuk Esrim, Vishalosh. Okay, you know this verse. Who is he speaking to? Rebecca. Peshne Goyim. You have two nations in your beten, in your belly, and Shnei Leumim, which is also nations in your gut. It's a funny place. And what's going to happen? They are going to be separated. They're going to be divided out. It's like one nation from another nation. This is Remember, the mem can be a comparative. One is more than the other one. And what is it more in? Amat, strength. One will be stronger than the other. And then what is the rest? The greater, greater will greater. serve the younger. Okay? So also another division. One more. Root, Aleph, Hasuk, Shva, Isre. So what? Tamoti, Amut. Where you die, I will die. Basham, Ekaver. I will be buried. What? Binyan is it? Nifal. Ko, yes, Yahweh Li, may he do to me, and Yossi, and even more. Ki, which is translated here as lest. Hamavit Yafrid, Beni Uvenich. Death will separate between me and between you. Okay, what binyan is Yafrid? He feel. How do you know? It has a yud in it, okay? All right, so these are all separations of parad. Okay, you can think of the pardes. Parad is the beginning of pardes. Pardes, it, what is a pardes actually? Paradise. It's fruit a paradise, fruit it's grove. a fruit grove. It is a place that is set apart, an isolated place for its own thing. He's not coming to visit the women, even though they are doing wrong, but he's coming, he will visit the men because the men have separated themselves with prostitutes and also with kadeshot. So what is the root of Kadeshot? Kodesh. And so what does that mean? So are they, are these women set apart? That's right. Okay, so they're priestesses to the false god, or they are also prostitutes. Some people find it <coughs> horrific that this word Kodesh can also mean for an illicit purpose, but it means the same thing. And uh, what are they doing with the Kadeshot? They're sacrificing and Am people lo yavin who do not understand ye lavet. So this root hardly ever appears, except maybe twice in Proverbs, lavat. Can look at it in Mishle wherever it is. We'll just look at one. Parak yud pasuk shmoneh. Chacham lev. 
the wise hearted person or the wise person, what will he get? What will he get? Commandment. Commandment. He, he receives the commandments. If you're wise, somebody says, hey, this is a commandment in Torah. You go, oh, good, I'm going to do that. And what is Evil? We talked about not that long ago. <coughs> Where are your Svatayim? Your Svatayim. So the fool who is like always, he's going to fall. So it's translated here as fall, and I think it's the same idea in Hosea. But part, the, people who, the people who do not understand, they're going to fall. Not just fall down. Verse 15. Im, if, zone'ata, everybody knows, we don't have to say, we're tired of it. <laughs> Listen, we only have 10 more chapters to go. Yisrael, okay, he's talking to Israel. If you are a zone, Yisrael, al yesham Yehuda. So asham, I think we haven't done, so we'll do some asham. Asham is almost a cognate, being ashamed, in other words, guilty. Okay, don't you be ashamed. I think we just recently probably covered this. We're going to do it right now. Vayikra Dalid, where we've been, maybe last week, in the offerings. Asuk Shalosh Esrei. Right, what is, what is this uh, chapter about? We just covered it. Sin offerings. Call Edat Yisrael. The whole kehila, the whole assembly, does a shigaga. Shigaga is an oops sin. Okay, you didn't know what was going on. You did it by mistake. Ne'elam, it is hidden from the eyes of them. They didn't know. So, and they, and they have done achat. They did one thing. It says of all the mitzvot, but it means against all the mitzvot. Okay, they did something uh, which should not be done. Te'asena. Te'asena. That is nifal, which uh, will be done. Should not be done. Be done. Be right? done. The thing is not doing anything. Mm-hmm. The thing should not be done. And asham, they are guilty. Okay, even if you're ignorant, you're guilty. All right, that's the asham. Okay, one more. Mizmor, Lamadalad, Pasuk Esrim Vishtayim. Yafi. What is Pode Liftot? You know it? To redeem. Yahweh will redeem what? Nefesh Avadav, soul of his servants. Velo Yashmu. They will not be ashamed. They will not be guilty. Kol Hachosim Bo. All who trust in him. Okay? That's a good verse. You should know it. You are not guilty. In the middle of uh, 4.15 we are in Hosea, right? Mm -hmm. So he's like, even if Israel is going to be the Zoned, don't you go out and be guilty, Judah, okay? And also, al tavau ha-Gilgal, don't go to Gilgal. What's happening at Gilgal? Parties, okay. Where is Gilgal? Who knows? There's another Gilgal. There's a big pile of rocks there. (laughs) in a circle. Okay, there's another Gilgal in the north of Israel which they uncovered after like some snowstorm in 1984 or something. Nobody knew it was there. It's either in Lebanon or practically in Lebanon. It's called Gilgal HaRefaim and there's a big circle of rocks there because Gilgal means circle. 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 Probably if, there, if, if it's Gilgal HaRefaim that might give you a clue that they're worshiping false gods. But also the whole idea of that at Gilgal by Jericho is where they all became circumcised because they hadn't been in the wilderness and God rolled back. He rolled back their reproach, okay? But now bad things are going on there. He says, don't go there. But I'll ta'alu bet aven. Don't go up to this bet aven, okay? It's a place where there's also false um, sacrifices are going on there. Ba'al tishva'u, and don't what? Vow. vow, don't make any vows. And the vow they would be making is, Chai Hashem, the Lord live. Verse 16. Now, this has nothing to do with Yom Kippur. It's not kafar, it's kapara, like a cow. What kind of a cow? A so rare a cow, huh? A wayward cow. A wayward cow, so ra. Remember, sore is a rebellious, is churning away. Okay, as a wayward cow is waywarding, uh, I think it's translated as backsliding. Israel, ata yira m, which is from what? Roe. Roe, meaning shepherd. Shepherd. He's going to feed them like a keves. What's a keves? 
Let's see where are some keves. Kvasim, because there are many in Shemot, Kaftet, Pasuk Shloshim, Vitesha. Talking about two keves. One in the one in the morning in the Boker, and one in the Ben Ha'arbayim. When is Ben Ha'arbayim? Between the evenings. What time is that? Late afternoon, three, four o'clock. Right there's two a day. That's the keves. Uh, one more. We'll look at Yeshayahu Yud Aleph. Pasuk Shesh. Gar is a verb. To live. Who is living with whom? The Ze'ev? The wolf. the wolf is living with the Kevis. It doesn't say that the lion is living with the sheep. Right. And this is not a function of the Mandela effect. It's always been this way. <laughs> okay? A Namer. A Namer is a leopard. And what is he going to your butts? What's your bots, Ravets? To crouch down with a gedi. It's a baby goat. It's a kid. A gedi is a kid. A little bit of a cognate. And the egel, the calf, and the kafir. Kafir is an, uh, an unusual word. I don't know if we've covered it. It's a young lion. But it also comes from kafar, which is uh, the same as kofir. Is the pitch of the ark. Uh, the, the covering of the ark, and it's Yom HaKippurim, okay? It also means a village. Well, in between that, it means henna. So that helps us a little bit, because why? The henna is used for covering also, right? But village, we think of a village as a covered place, as a safe place. Okay, maybe there are trees around it. Maybe there are huts with roofs, okay? The young lion comes from the idea that he is also crouching down, hidden and covered by the tree. So that's where he comes in. The egil and the kafir. The marie is a, um, a, a stall animal, a fat, fatling. They'll all be together. And na'ar katan, a little Kid, child. Boy, young child, no heg bum, will lead them. It was never lion. It was always wolf. That's what I said. It was always wolf. Why do people think it's lion and lamb? Why do people think that? That's why. Every, uh, every single translation, will, English okay. translation will, says wolf. They all say wolf because they get confused because Yeshua is the lion and the lamb. And so they put it together from that perspective. But it never was that. It was always the wolf. We are in verse 16. We are finishing verse 16 because... Like the wayward backsliding cow is back, you are backsliding Israel. But now I will feed. Yahweh will feed like uh, like the lamb, like the sheep, in a wide place. Rachov means wide, right? In a wide place. Verse 17. Chabur, chavar, chaver. What's your chaver? Friend. It's your friend. What is that? Come. What's, it's a binding word. Okay, it's a person you're tied to. And you're machberet. It's sewn. Right? The curtains are machberet. They're in pairs. The curtains are sewn together around the mishkan. So Ephraim is bound to atzabim, which here is translated as idols. But it's a very rich word, so we're just going to do, try and do as much of it as we can tonight. So we'll start with the idols in uh, Mizmor Kuftet Vav. Mizmor Kuftet Vav, Pasuk Arba. What are they made out of? Silver and gold. <laughs> what are they? Maasei yedei adam. The work of men's hands. These are their idols. All right, let's look at Zachariah. In the plural, atzavim, it refers to idols. But we'll see where it comes from in one moment. Yud gimel, pasuk shtayim. Beyom ha-hu. Ne'um. Declares. Okay. Achrit. Karat. I will cut off what? Shemot Atzavim. The names of the idols will be cut off min ha'aretz. From the whole land. Or maybe the whole earth. Lo yizachru. Ah, they will not be remembered. What binyan is it? Nifa. Nifa. And also he's going to cut off the nevi'im, the prophets. The prophets of those idols, okay, will be cut off. And here is the ruach tum'ah. Tamei is unclean, spirit of uncleanness, or the spirit of defilement. <coughs> A'avir, what is that? I will cause to pass away, right? 
to pass, oh, yeah, not yeah. just to pass over, but to pass yeah. out of, pass out of the land. What binyan is that, uh, Avir? He feels. Yes. This is the general idea, that in the plural, atzavim is going to be <coughs> idols. But we have had this root since the beginning, Bereshit Gimel, Pasuk Shva Esrei, Ula Adam Amar. He said to Adam, to the man, Ki shamata lakol yistecha, oops, you have listened to the voice of your wife, v'tochal min ha'i'etz, you eat from the tree, asher tziviticha, about which I commanded you, lo tochal mimenu, do not eat from it, okay, and then you see right under there, there's where your wishbone is, under the mimenu, okay? Now we're going to pick up on a new thought. This is what's happened. Arura, cursed, is the Adama. Ba'avurech, this is also an avar, means for your sake. And how will he eat from it? Be'itzavon, be'etzev. This is the same etzev. In sorrow, toil, grief. So this is the extended meaning of this root. Sorrow, grief. And how does this come to be? Idols, they bring misery, they make, they're grievous to God, I'm, I'm sure of that. Atsu and Sameach are the opposite. All the days of your life. Breshid, uh, hey, Esrim Vitesha. He called his name Noach, saying, This one, Yenachamenu, he will comfort us from our ma'asem, from our works, from our itzavon, the sorrow of our hands, Yadenu. The toil of our hands of the earth, which God cursed. All right, one more in Breshi. Perak Vav, Pasuk Shesh. So previously, this Nacham, we said that Noah would, he, uh, his father says, Noah will comfort us. Here, this is not so much uh, comforting. It has to do with kind of a, a breathing, sighing. We're comforted. <sighs> but God is like, <laughs> I made these people. They're not doing well. It's translated as repented, but I think it's more like God is having a... He had heartfelt sadness. He had a heartfelt sadness, good, <laughs> because he made the man in the land, v'yit atsev, wet binyan, okay? So he ha- he's grieved unto his heart. Okay, it's the same atsav. He's grieved unto his heart. Yofi Yishayahu, Samich Gimel. Can you remember Samich? Pasuk Eser. Hema is Hem. Maru. What's Maru? Rebel. That too. Because rebellion is bitter. Okay. So they rebelled and they, Atsu, they grieved what? Ruach Kodesho. He grieved his Holy Spirit. That's right. Biyahafuch. What's Hafach? You remember Hafach? To turn around. He turned upside down towards them as an oyev. He became what? He became their enemy, v'nilcham. What is lachom? Nilcham, lechem. War, that's right. He fought against them because they grieved him. Because we're going to finish this chapter today because we have no more words that we don't know. So we're just going to read it. We're almost done. All right, look. Verse 17. Chabur atzabim Ephraim. Ephraim is bound up with idols. Hanachlo, from Noach. Verse 18. All right, Sar. What is this, Sar? We just had... It's the, re- it's the rebelling and the turning the away. The turning away. We just had yeah. the para sorera, right? Sorer. Okay. Now, this word you don't know, Sivam, but it is a cognate for a product which came out in the past few years. Have you seen it? It's some kind of drink or tea or something on the uh, on the shelf. Maybe it's an energy drink or, okay. So this is referring to their drinks. Their drinks have soured. They've turned, literally, right? The drinks have soured. Here's your hasne hasnu ahavu. They loved their uh, whoredoms, okay? Now this hevu is hardly used and it's not translated, but it's the, it's the hevu of Havanagila. I mean, come on, let's. So it had, it, almost none of the translations translate it, except the King James, which just adds a get ye at the end of the sentence, which makes no sense <laughs> at all. Okay? 
But the middle part, the, this part, cologne, you remember the cologne? Uh, what is shame. it? Shame. They love shame. Who? Magineha is from their magen. Their shields, in other words, their rulers. Their rulers prefer shame to righteous living. All right, one more verse. We're going to do it short. Tsarar. It's from Tsar. It's a tight spot, the pressure. Okay, they're binding up. The spirit is binding them. Where? Bikinafeha. In her, in his wings. Okay? And, Yevoshu, Bashash, they, huh? Yeah, they will be ashamed. They are ashamed of their Mizbachot, their Zevach, Mizbeach, their sacrifices. Oh, praise the Lord. We finished chapter four before the break.